in indifference curves, as I have mentioned in the previous videos, more of the goods is always preferred to less of the goods. This is applicable in case of goods which are desirable to the consumer and not bad goods. And here we are talking about the case of goods that are desirable. With this in mind, let's have a look at the monotonicity of preferences. If x1, x2 is a bundle of goods and y1, y2 is another bundle of goods with at least as much of both the goods and more of one, then y1, y2 is preferred to x1, x2. For example, if the consumption bundle of two goods, food and clothing, is 1020, which is 10 units of food and 20 units of clothing, and then suppose there is another consumption bundle which is 1015, which has 10 units of food and 15 units of clothing, then the consumption bundle 1020 will be preferred to the consumption bundle 1015 because the units of food remain the same and the units of clothing is more in the bundle 1020. This monotonicity assumption is the reason why ICs have a negative slope. As we discussed earlier, if we start at a bundle x1, x2 as given in the figure and move anywhere up to the right, we must be moving to a preferred position. If we move down and to the left, we must be moving to a worse position. So, if we are moving to an indifferent position, we must be moving either left and up or right and down. So, the indifference curve must have a negative slope. Secondly, it is assumed that the averages are preferred to extremes. That is, if we take two bundles of goods x1, x2 and y1, y2 on the same indifference curve and take a weighted average of the two bundles such as half into x1 plus half into y1, comma half into x2 plus half into y2, then the average bundle will be at least as good as or is strictly preferred to each of the two extreme bundles. Suppose there are two goods, clothing and food. There is a consumption bundle 106 for x1, y1, where there is 10 units of clothing and 6 units of food, and also there is another bundle 610 for x2, y2, where there is 6 units of clothing and 10 units of food. Here, one bundle contains 10 units of food and other contains 6 units of food. The same is the case with clothing. One contains 6 units of clothing and the other bundle contains 10 units of clothing. Then, if we take the average of the two bundles, we will get 10 plus 6 the whole divided by 2, comma 6 plus 10 the whole divided by 2, which is 8, comma 8. That is 8 units of foot and 8 units of clothing. This average bundle will be indifferent or will be preferred to the above given two extreme bundles of foot and clothing. That is 10, 6 and 6, 10. So, the weighted average bundle has the average amount of foot and the average amount of clothing that is present in the two bundles. Here, we half the value or took average. But we are going to assume this for any weight t between 0 and 1 and not just half. Thus, we are assuming that if x1, x2 is indifferent to y1, y2, then tx1 plus 1 minus t into y1, comma tx2 plus 1 minus t into y2 will be indifferent or preferred to x1, x2. For any t such that 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1. This means that t can be half as we took the case of average or it can be 1 by 3, 1 by 4 or anything starting with 0 and going till 1 where 0 and 1 are the two extreme cases. For instance, if we take 0 and substitute instead of t into the equation, we get 0 x1 plus 1 minus 0 into y1 plus 0 x2 plus 1 minus 0 into y2 which equals y1, y2. This means that you won't be consuming good x. And going by the same terms, if we take the extreme case of 1, 
this means that you won't be consuming good Y. Now we will see what this means geometrically. Have a look at this figure where y1, y2 and x1, x2 are in different bundles. Then if averages are preferred to extremes, all of the weighted averages of x1, x2 and y1, y2 are weakly preferred to x1, x2 and y1, y2. Weakly preferred to means that the weighted average of the bundles x1, x2 and y1, y2 are at least as good as the extreme bundle x1, x2 and y1, y2. A convex set has the property that if you take any two points in the set and draw a line segment connecting these two points, that line segment lies entirely in the set. Here in the figure, we can see that the line segment lies exactly within the curve. This figure at the same time shows concave preferences. Here, averages aren't preferred to extremes. The consumer prefers to consume the extreme bundles. For example, take ice cream and olives. The consumer may like ice cream and olive separately but may not like to have them together. The consumer may be indifferent between consuming 8 ounces of ice cream and 2 ounces of olives or 8 ounces of olives and 2 ounces of ice cream. But either one of these bundles would be better than consuming 5 ounces of each, which is the average of the extreme bundles. The consumer would prefer to specialize in one of the goods at least to some degree and to consume only one of the goods. Here, the IC is concave and the line segment lies outside the set. However, the normal case is where the consumer would want to trade some of one good for the other and end up consuming some of each rather than specializing in consuming only one of the two goods. Hence, usually the averages are preferred to the extremes. I hope these concepts are clear. Thank you.